Hey, did you know there are over 105,000 people on the organ transplant waiting list? The most requested organs are the kidneys, liver, and heart. But unfortunately, there's way more demand for these organs than we have supply to give. But what if we could create new, healthy tissues on demand? Interestingly, this solution may be closer than it seems. Come on, I'll show you. Welcome to the field of tissue engineering. No, not those kinds of tissues. The tissues I'm talking about are large groups of cells that work together to achieve some purpose. These tissues make up everything in your body, from your heart to your bones and everything in between. So how do we engineer a tissue in the first place? Well, tissue engineering is made up of a trifecta between the scaffold, cells, and growth factors, and we'll talk about each. The first consideration is the scaffold, and the scaffold is the physical environment that the cells grow in and ultimately form a tissue around. You can think about this like constructing a building. First, some metal or wooden support needs to be created, and ultimately, the rest of the house is built around this support. That initial support is similar to the scaffold in tissue engineering. Lots of different materials can be used as a scaffold. Options range from gel-like substances called hydrogels to 3D printed materials, and even natural substances, if modified properly, can be used as scaffolds. Things like coral and plant tissue have been investigated for this purpose, which is really cool considering how accessible some of these options could be. The next part of tissue engineering is the cells. The cells we use are based on the type of tissue we're trying to create. For instance, if we're trying to engineer a bone tissue, we would likely use bone cells or something called a stem cell, which can turn into multiple different types of tissues if provided with the right stimuli. For example, some type of stem cell could potentially turn into muscle or bone. The final consideration are called growth factors. These growth factors are chemicals that are provided to the cells and serve almost as cell food. These chemicals and nutrients provide the stimuli to change the way that cells behave. They can cause cells to grow, multiply, or even change the type of cell that they are if the cell is a stem cell. Now that we've introduced all the ingredients, we can combine them together and four to six weeks later, we could even achieve something like this. What you see here is an example of engineered heart tissue that contracts and beats the same way a normal heart would. The field of tissue engineering still has some ways to go before we can start creating body parts on demand, but it is an exciting start towards a healthier future for all of us.